All right. It is Monday when you see this and not me making the mistake again of putting this on a Sunday instead of a Monday. That was just not paying attention. But that's the past. This is uh, today. As you can tell by the screen, let me just check again. Yep. As the screen for the state, as every Monday is, we are putting the timer at four, or I can go no round time limit, or what's what's the max? Ten minutes? No, I don't need that much time. We do four minutes here. So the state we're doing today, as we um, already saw on the previous screen, is New Mexico. And it's one of those states out in the west that's just kind of a giant state of squares where they ran out of imagination or didn't want to bother using any rivers or any other points of delineation to make states, I guess. But the home of Walter White and many um, nuclear testing sites, along with Nevada. So here we go. As you saw what the score was, it didn't seem like... Uh, Many people got many high scores on this, and I'm not really expecting to either. Look at this thing. Big, giant wheel with uh, hoses on it. Spraying shit. Anyway, here's the state. As we see here, it's in the southwest, bordered by Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and the Mexican provinces of Sonora and Chihuahua, or Chihuahua, if you've Never heard of the dog. Capital is Santa Fe. And it became the 47th state on January 6, 1912. Pretty, pretty recent as far as uh, states go. Um, nickname is the Land of Enchantment. Um, the capital of Santa Fe was founded in 1610 as the capital of, at the time, the uh, Mexican province or territory you can call it of Nuevo Mexico which I hear is Spanish for um, something like New Mexicans or Mexicos Mexicans anyway I got two minutes left I gotta figure out where we are um, the history again with this place as you can probably guess with any other state this one actually has a little bit of a twist although Really, it doesn't instead of like Dutch or English or maybe German colonists. I don't know. It was Spanish colonists who came out here after who who encountered the Native Americans. You could say created territories out here, um, but the middle ground between ooh, we see these are the uh, root signs for New Mexico two fifty four. I doubt I'm going to see this anywhere here. 254. Well, let's just, let's just see. Let's see 252. But I don't know if this really is like indicative of being close. So maybe I'll put us here and have it not actually be it. But I'm going to, I'm going to do a quick little scan over the state here. Two, five, four. I feel I'm close. Hmm. There's the border. I got a minute left. This is how I'm going to find where we are. I'm going to get a terrible score probably on this one. Two, 64. Because you saw what the average score was of people who played this. I'm not expecting to do much better. Since I can't even find the root itself 249 let's zoom in just a smidge maybe i can't find it here 49 ah man 40 seconds left 254 hmm two eight five 
Man. Where is it? Let's see if uh, maybe clicking somewhere far will maybe help me find out where we are. Say ranch here. Speaking of the ranches, the most of the economy for the estate is 261. Oh, we did find another number. And I'm going to be way off opposite side of the country or the state. No, we were near Roswell. The, oh, these are, is that 254? Oh, it's, yeah, we were, there's no way I was going to see that one. Let me take a sip. Anyway, how it went was Native Americans came here, um, then the Spanish did, and then there was a bit of a fight between um, the Nuevo Mexico and Spain. It became its own little area in the revolt of 1837, and at the same time, the region became more economically dependent on the United States, and the conclusion of the Mexican-American War in 1848, it annexed the, well, the U.S. annexed New Mexico as the New Mexico Territory. And then 50 years later, 50 ish, maybe 60, it became a state. The state itself has, because of the Spanish um, uh, uh, history, become the highest percentage of Hispanic and Latino Americans in the country and the second highest percentage of Native Americans as a population proportion right after Alaska. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if you've seen the flag of uh, New Mexico, as I hit next round, uh, comparatively speaking to a lot of other states' flags, uh, you know, they're, they're either follow like one of two, um, like, uh, what are they called? Staples, plans, whatever. Chavez County. I don't think this says counties on it. Probably not. Excuse me, the, uh, the, you know, came the wrong way, but I figured these happen a lot on these little, I think these are mainly like for emergency vehicles or cops to park on to get people as they're speeding. Can I get down here? Oh, I can. All right. So this may tell me what I'm about to get on. That's a divided highway. It doesn't tell me. All right, fine. Um, it's, I want to get over there. Can I get over there? Thank you. Where the state flags kind of fall. Blue background, the seal of the state. Ooh, maybe. Junction, mile 364. This is a, yeah, that's not helping me. Let's get back over there. Let's get back. This is annoying. I just want to get over there. Thank you. We're blue background, state seal, or, you know, a mishmash of maybe a state seal, confederate flag. Or you got some standouts kind of like uh, New Mexico, uh, Texas. And New Mexico is another one where it doesn't really, where other flags kind of have red, white, and blue somewhere in it. New Mexico doesn't. It's got the, um, the color of the 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 symbol in the middle is of the same color apparently of the Spanish cross of Burgundy, which you can look up. It kind of looks like a X with a bunch of little jagged jagged edges on it. I've not seen any sign here of what highway this is. I'm a little a little concerned. I don't know how far we gotta go to get to any um like entrance or exit. I'm a bit worried about, but that seems to be drainage ditch. I'm just going to click as far into the horizon as I can. And apparently the, the, the icon thing in the middle of the flag apparently is the H and some symbol of Zia, which is the uh, Puebloan tribe apparently. And <clears throat> which is another thing that New Mexico, I think, has a lot of are those giant uh, things in the ground. I know I think Peru has those as well. Mm. But 
as far as the state itself, it has about 2.1 million people. It's pretty for the, for the size of it. I mean, the size is the fifth largest state, but it only has 36 largest in population. Where are your highway markers? What the fuck am I on? Are you going to give me like a sign? Hey, we're this close to whatever um, highway or town. This has got nothing. I got 20 seconds and I'm just finding mile markers and just nothingness. Well, what's pretty barren out here? Highway 10? All of these are barren landscapes. I have no idea. I don't know where the counties are. The maps don't really show it either. Yeah. We are apparently on Route 70. Silly me. I'm going to tell you right now, Mexico, very low on the uh, highway demarcations. We saw the one and didn't on the other one. This probably just says no passing zone. Yep, okay. You can see from landscapes like this and every other one we've been on. It's kind of a desert, a high desert climate. Um, certain parts, it's like down here. It's hot as fuck all the time. And then there's little smatterings of hot in the day. And it gets super cold. You know, there's snow in the winter. Mountainous, the more north you go. It kind of goes all over the place. And I think because the economy itself is split up between natural resources and uh, a lot of government facilities, missile testing, stuff like that. The state itself, I mean, also combined with how little people there are, the state has the title of having the most, uh, where do I have it here? The highest concentration of PhD holders in the country, which is a weird thing to to have, but it's it's also strange because Ojo, Oyo, Tres Piedras. Way down here? I don't know. I don't know where Anton Antonito is. Ojo Caliente. These are things I've never heard of. Tres Piedras? I think I've heard of that one. All right, well, let's keep going. At least we saw a sign of towns, but fuck if I know. Um, the state itself apparently averages pretty low, though, as far as primary and secondary school education. Um, there was an interesting blurb. If I can scroll down to it here, where's education? Here we go. Um, due to its relatively low prop, blah, blah, blah. It ranks lowest in that. In a landmark decision, a state judge ruled in 2018 in New Mexico was violating the constitutional rights of at-risk students by failing to provide them with sufficient education. I don't know what that court ruling is, but it feels a lot like what my state had in a ruling. I forget what the act was called, but there was a court case in which a student from a poorer part of the state um, filed a lawsuit against my state saying that, hey, comparatively speaking to the education I get compared to like the more wealthier towns, it's not fair. I should be getting the same type of education that they do, and I should have access to the same things that they do in the town. So, uh, I don't know if Mexico did, New Mexico did the same thing that our state did, where depending on the town, the richer towns had to pay more taxes to cover the expenses of paying for education in the smaller towns in the state. Maybe that's a contributing factor to the amount of people leaving the state, but who knows? It's conjecture at this point. I don't know where the fuck we are. I'm seeing a lot of signs for things that I've maybe heard one of. The others, no. Um, Let's see here. I think another thing they have to do is since it does have such a high percentage of uh, Spanish 
Oh shit, I gotta click a place. I ran out of time. Yeah. Oh, it's up there. It actually is a thing. I just thought because it was closer to the Mexico border, I would have seen it there. But yeah, no, I was... I'm going to do terribly again on this one. I'm... I'm Resign myself to that. It'll happen. Is there any other quick things in the notes that I wanted to talk about? Not really. Uh, Sports-wise, it's one of the states that has nothing and maybe has like a couple of like farm leagues for teams where like baseball teams. You've got the professional teams, the ones that are, you know, Major League Baseball. You've got like the Yankees teams like that, but teams those teams have farm leagues, which is kind of like developmental leagues, and it goes like single A, double A, and triple A, where single A is like super in need of development. Triple A is like we're um, basically ready to be like professional major league baseball players, where like if some people get injured and they have surgery, they'll do a lot of like rehab stints. To you know, get themselves warmed up and ready to pitch for the majors again. They'll do a couple of stints, a couple of games down in AAA to get themselves warmed up. That is an interesting place for a sign. I guess there's a trail there. This is nothing. Very desolate. Need a drink. What do I know of New Mexico? Honestly, not much. Um, a lot of like pop culture references of New Mexico is like, oh, it's terrible. There's issues of uh, high alcohol consumption, dr um, drunk driving, meth use, drug use being bad, a lot of Indian reservations, and there is a lot of issues with. Native American reservations in that... Ooh, I do have a side, finally. In that the reservations do not get enough money or funding to run things. Although I feel like this is going to be one of these super tiny roads, which I'm concerned about. But this is all I got to go on. Where in... There's a disproportionate percentage of people in reservations that have alcoholism, unemployment, and diabetes. And I think the, uh, the diabetes might have to do with um, just the, I think they're more, uh, what, what's the word? Tended, they're, they're, they have a higher chance percentage. Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Okay, so that is not a straight line. Interesting. Didn't know that. Uh, because of the diet of Native Americans for all of their history, I guess because of what they ate compared to what they eat now, they have a way, they're, may, they're, they're far more vulnerable to diabetes. And again, I could be completely wrong on this. Wouldn't be a surprise. There's 117. Is there? Oh, man. Like, I am trying as well as the game will let me try to find out where the hell this is. One sixteen, and I have just not I've been stonewalled on everything. We like down here. There's one fourteen, but it's got to be north south. Then you got Carlsbad Caverns down here. Yep, not even, not even close. There was 113. I guess I just didn't see it, or it didn't go down there. Yeah, this is hard. I think, maybe comparatively speaking, to something like Nebraska or Kansas, there's a lot of open, desolate space in this state, and the draws that we got on locations in the state to find out where we are we got some bad ones. I mean, there was one that actually had a town name on it, but me not figuring out where that was, or maybe going in the opposite direction away from the town. 
excuse me, were unable to find it. Two of these had root markers on it, but I could not find them on a map. There's very little cars or any other uh, vehicles that could have logos on it to tell me what town I'm in. It's not happening on this state. Like, compared to other ones where I forgot to click on a location, this one I've actually tried. And for the most effort put in for the points I got out of it, I think this probably is the lowest. Like, this all feels like Australia with... Uh, it's more like the, the, the colors washed out a bit more. There's some green, but there is some very tannish. This is probably adopt a highway. Uh, we're going to have like a town name of people who died. Yeah, see, that probably says, but of course. Yep, can't read that. Thank you. Why can't I go forward? Thank you. Two minutes and nothing. Let's see, does this road have Royal John Mine Road Commander? Don't know what that is. Hoping, nope, do not pass. Come on. Please, anything. We're on mile 20. I don't know what that means. If I see the next sign that says mile 19, I don't think I'm going to click fast enough in the uh, amount of time. Oh, this ranch is for sale. 1,500 acres. Probably super cheap because it's all... Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe some signage here. Nope. <laughs> this guy's got some opinions. Well, the it, it ended, so he should be happy. Perhaps because of the election. And that he couldn't run for three terms, but he got what he wanted. Where are we? Is this Sherman? Well, I have a town. Potentially. Lower Members Fire Department. Not helpful. Magistrate Judge. Grant Division 1. I don't know what or where that means. This guy wants to be sheriff of this county, which makes me feel we are up here in the north. This is how I'm going to find out where we are. That seems to be the north. I'm going to say we're around here. I'm going to click here because I feel the way this is set up, it's flat. And I want to say it's like, it could be the corner here. Let's zoom in just a bit and try to find a Mimbris or Sherman. This is the only clue I'm going to get to find out where we are. I'm like the very confident we're in the north, and fuck me, we weren't. Yep, and none of these were Mimbris. Oh, there was Mimbris. Yeah, this one was impossible. The draw we got was bad. I f felt strong that maybe that that thing was showing the county that he was in. My logic felt strong. Execution wasn't there. Anyway, that's going to do it for this Monday. If you've learned anything about New Mexico, it's dry, desolate. They don't mark their signs, or when they do, I just can't find them. Lots of natural beauty, so you can go see it there. But... Yeah, that's going to do it for Monday. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, tips, observations, whatever, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. Monday's done. The week started. Just like every other week this year, they go by fast. Once they'll be here before you know it, before I know it. And we'll be here to do some more geoguessing. And depending on how quickly I can edit something, there might be a bit of a surprise. I know I made a lot of promises. So hopefully I can keep this one. Anyway, we will see you real soon. Goodbye.